right, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's video. It's a lovely day here so I thought I'd sit outside and play my accordion for a bit. A um, bit of history, I'm sitting on the apple crusher that used to be used in this farm, actually in the shed through that wall there. Uh, we still refer to it as the press house because the uh, cider press was in there as well, you know, the, the, the next the next bit after crushing the apples in here. So cider was made on this farm many years ago and the field over there we still refer to it as the orchard. It was for the cider apple trees years ago before my time. And um, yeah so this is this is this is second position as a garden feature. It was in the other side of the house before after it was taken out of that shed. And um, well, the shed now houses my brother's lathes. He's got some very big lathes in there. So, yeah, this was actually used on the farm, and the, there was a shaft going through there, and the horse used to pull the wheel around to crush the apples to make the cider. So, just a quick bit of history. Okay, so the video this week is um, all thanks to Mr. Ian Hulley, who sent me this model. And... Um, I've had it a while now, I think this is the last of the ones he sent me that I've got to do. And it's going to be the restoration of the VW 1200 and um, that's the police car version. So that's the Corgi Toys one. So before we start that I'd just like to say thank you to all my existing subscribers and to all the new ones that have uh, just subscribed and to everybody for making the comments and, and giving me advice. It's been very useful and uh, there's a few things that Bob Willis has said that I've listened to and I've, I've sorted that out and I think you'll find that there's one thing on this video that you'll see later on that I've done that he suggested. Okay, so um, without any more hold-ups, as I always say, Please sit back, relax, enjoy the video, and see how I got on with this one. Okay then, so let's take a closer look. Um, something jamming is jamming in there, but I think there's a piece broken off inside. Um, a bit of plastic in there somehow that's jamming everything. I think there's a bit missing. I don't know if it's inside or not. This has got a crack in there, I can see inside. So when we undo it, we'll have a look. Um, the front of this is bent. Um, I don't know if you can see, it's obviously been dropped on its nose and that's bent up and um, at some stage the the uh, bonnet, well the boot rather, wouldn't open so that's been bent out. Um, so I'll have to straighten that. Um, back boot opens alright, the back part's okay. Um, yeah, so it's not too bad paint job really, it's a shame that it's uh, got to be undone in one way. The mud guards are a bit chipped but all in all it's not a bad little car and um, I'm quite looking forward to doing this one so the base is nice and shiny so I might just clean that up if I can straighten that one out scuffing it too much. So uh, yeah next step we'll have to drill the rivets out or the rivet posts out get the base plate off and have a look what's going on inside okay okay doc so here it goes
There is a little hollow in the middle of the rivet, but that's not much of one. And I thought I was going to be cocky and drill it without putting the punch or something on it. So I did those two, but this one not quite. Lucky I'm with my glasses on, I can't see bugger all. Christ, they need a bit of a clean and all. Is that enough? I hope so. Excellent punch that, worth every penny. It wasn't much, got it on eBay quite cheap. As you all know by now I'm a bit tight so I don't try to pay too much for anything. If I can help it. Sorry I'm, I'm swigging a coffee at the same time as doing this. So I need a bigger drill. Okay, here we go. Put the glasses back on. <laughs> Sorry, my silly laugh again. Mud flaps. Oopla, that's the book. Engine cover falling off. That's it. So look, I've come out with that. One wheel come out, one wheel stayed in. Oomph. There's the other bit out. Right, so there's some broken bits in there. Okay. So. Mud flaps. Mustn't lose all these little bits. So, ah, so that is cool. That's I'm pleased that that's still in there. The pieces broken off is still there. I thought it had come out. I thought it was missing. So that's happy days. That'll make a difference to me. So I'll glue that back and probably strengthen it with a little bit of wire or something underneath. MIG welding wire or something I'll stick under. So that's cool. I'm pleased about that. So you see. It's cracked there as well, so I'll have to fix that up. That's great. Now, yeah. that pulls out of there. That just needs a good clean up. Interior's not too bad. Not too sure where the steering wheel's gone, or there it is. Just left to glue that back in. 
sec. That's lovely. And oop, the glass is out now. That's good. Oh, that's in good nick. Happy days. Got new stickers for this, so that's great. And I imagine this does it come out here. Yeah. Lovely jubbly. So I have to uh, put blue back on the light. I shouldn't think this is the easiest of cars to steer if you're a kid. Um, I think it would have irritated me because I remember having one of those driving school VWs when I was a kid. Well, I've still got it, what's left of it. I've tidied it up a bit, but it's a bit battered and knackered. But it still works and it steers well. But it had a nice steering wheel on the roof. Whereas this, it's hard to grip. And I used to love having a steering car when I was a kid. So I think, you know, if I was a kid again, I'd be wanting to play with this. I'd be tempted to put a tyre over that so it was easy to grip to turn the steering. But anyway, I'll have to put some blue ink or something over that for the blue light. Okie doke. So these I'm going to have to push out. Um, actually, I might use the punch for that. I don't mean bullet a gate punch. It just might be easier to push these out with a punch without damaging them. The jeweled headlights. Hmm. I don't know, they're pretty stuck in. Oh gosh, I've got everything jammed in this drawer here. Yeah. That was too big. That's a smaller one. Boom, that's it. So that's out. That's happy days. Do the same with that one. I don't want to push too, too hard. That's it. Lovely. They come out easy. So that's it. All ready for the caustic soda. I think I'll take a photo of that just to make sure I get the colours right in the right place, the, uh, the line. Okay, so that's cool. I'm pleased with that. So that, that and that, caustic soda, that just needs to clean up, straighten up. It's not too badly twisted. See, it's twisted from there. Just around there, around there, and that all needs to come that way. So these men, policemen, they're fine like they are. They're just going to go in the uh, in the old poor man's washing machine. Okay. So next step, as I say, caustic soda. caustic soda. I've put the uh, little bits in this old sieve. We had knocking around. So here we go. Knock out caustic soda. Didn't need much today. I guess wire brush it so next time you see it be all cleaned wire brush ready for painting. Right, so the old caustic soda's done its job and uh, I've wire brushed all that so that's nice and clean ready to prime so I'm going to go out and prime it now.
All right, it's been nearly 24 hours. Um, I've done the white on the mud guards after I primed it. Um, I gave it some etching primer, thin cut of etching primer, then I put normal primer over the top, and then once it was dry, I painted the mud guards white. So now we've got to mask off all the uh, mud guards so we can paint the green. So I'll just cut this piece of masking tape here to go in there. Which is not that easy to do. Because it's got a habit of sticking to what you don't want it to stick to instead of what you want it to stick to. Anyway, that's, that's that on there. Right, uh, it's a bit tricky because there's curves and all sorts. So, and it kind of goes, it goes around the mud guard, but then it goes onto this bit right on the edge here. So, not the easiest of things to mask off. Mind you, it never is, is it? <laughs> never is. Yeah. One of these sticks. Try and get that in a bit more. Too much now. Mm. Too much, then not enough. So I want that to come over to that. Bugger. Well, that's bloody moved now. Ah, oh, merde. Put another bit on over that in a minute. Okay, so I'll carry on doing that. It's very difficult because I've got another one of these, um, which I'm not going to touch, it's quite original. Um, and the undersides of the mud guards are green. So I don't want to, I want to do this one the same. So I'm gonna, it's, you know, it's quite difficult to mask with that in mind. So I don't know how it's going to turn out, what I will do, I will lacquer it first, I will put a bit of lacquer around, around the masking tape, um, just to, you know, make it less chance of the colour bleed. Okay, just going to put a little bit across there, and that'll be it done. I'll cut a piece. Too much now. Tit. Okay. 
So I'm hoping that'll be all right. Just cut that little corner off. Anyway, we're going to find out. Okay, so that's pretty much masked up. But there might be a little bit of touching in here and there afterwards um, with a brush, but. I don't think there'll be much. It's going to mostly be on the underside, I would think, like on the underside of the wheel arches, right there where my tape's gone round. Try not to push it around, but at the same time I want it to seal on the outside edge. So. Okay, so I'm just going to go and lack of that, lack of that bit, and then uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, catch you in a bit. Right, this has been about three, four hours since I've painted it, the green on, so. I'm going to try and get the tape off and I can't see as per you. Ow! Stop me. I can't see as per usual where the tape starts. I think I remembered sticking some in. I remember sticking a piece across the front, yeah, that's it. So we'll see what the outcome of this was. Hopefully it won't be a bad outcome. Hopefully. a bit gone through there from underneath again which is what I meant when I said I'm going to have little bits probably to touch up you can see that there it's that little bit just no, won't focus now no you don't want to focus see it there. See. Anyhow. Well, I better zoom out again because otherwise I'm not going to be in the picture. little tiny bit there not a lot so let's hope this one's just as good
I have to go a little bit along there with the brush. It's not come up that clean. It's a bit of a jagged line on it. Fortunately. Too bad. Um, hang on, I'll try and pull that out from there. I just stuck it back down again. That one's done all right. Actually, it's not bad. It's, uh, you know, the original one isn't that great either. When you look at the original one, they've got a lot of colour bleed in this one, and uh, well, mine's not, not too bad at all. So, I'm pretty pleased with that. Now, just this last little piece here. Well, that's cool. I'm quite pleased with that. Okay, so what I didn't notice when I undid it, it's only afterwards when I was thinking it needs suspension on the back. So those tabs are broken off like this front one. So what I've done, I don't know if you can see, this bit here was flat right the way across. So I've filed out a little groove or notch I don't know see it oh, or you can see it that way just oh, on which way am I going <laughs> oh. yeah just there and there so I've filed out that and what I'm gonna do I had a box of fuses like this and it's got this on the end so I've cut that off because I don't need that so I'm gonna it's nice it's nice sort of bendy plastic and very strong so I'm gonna
cut a couple, a couple of bits out of here and glue it in there for the suspension and uh, hopefully that should be strong enough glued in those little grooves should be strong enough to hold everything okay right I've made this it's a Bob Willis special glue applicator so I've taken notice of what he said now what I've done I've I've uh, chopped the end off my missus dish mop so she's not going to notice because it's a little bit shorter but she won't notice so it's just ideal for this so that's that anyway that's ideal so okay now I've just glued this I've made these little suspension things Nick? what? what's wrong? what's happened to my dish mop in here? I don't know I haven't done anything to it I haven't touched it It's just your imagination, I think. Nobody's touched. I mean, who's going to come and touch the dish mop? I haven't touched it. Mm. You better not have. No. Nothing to do with me. <clears throat> right, as I was saying, I've uh, done the suspension. I've glued these bits on, so hopefully that, that should do all right for that now. So, Okay. See you in a bit. That's oh, okay at last. Back to this final stage, putting everything back together. The bit I like the best. Well, when it all works out. Right, so the steering wheel was flopping around, so I've put it in. So I've got to put the little men in, the driver and the and his mate. And then I'm gonna glue steering wheel from this side to hold it there so there you go got me special tool lovely javelin Sure, it holds him in nice and tight. Yeah. Right, so got this. Put the. Uh, I better put the sticker on here first. Now I'm not that impressed with these stickers. I got them on eBay. I don't know if you can see they got like marks all over them underneath. I assume underneath the the lacquer that. They must have been lacquered, they're stickers, but they got those marks, but anyway, I'll have to use them, so. And they are slightly bigger than the originals, so I hope they're going to fit. Anyway, put the one on the back window first. a bit on the big side. for this try to get the bugger in the middle it's not easy yeah, let's hope there's enough room in the back window for that okay 
wondering if I should put these on first. Could do. See, I don't think they're going to quite fit on the doors. I reckon I might have to cut a bit off that one. Do the same with this one. And we should be okay. Just actually, this one's a bit smaller. It's been cut a bit different. sticking out. Okay, so that's on there. Okay, so let's get the old glass in. Um, this top piece has got to go through here. Trying to remember what goes where, when and how. Seems okay. Flaps, where do they go? Do they go next? No, after. Heck. If I put these pins in first. Um, I know what I haven't got. I always forget something. I haven't got the basin, I haven't got the bonnet and the boot. Right.
here we go. I tried to polish that up, didn't come up 100% but I don't want to paint it so I'd rather leave it like it is. I've molotoffed the, the bumpers front and back because they were chipped and whatever that silver coating is, um, it was chipped off. Right, so... I think I probably should have put the bonnet in before. Oh, that's what I haven't done as well. <laughs> I forgot to put the jeweled lights in. So, let's push those back in before we go too far. There, push in. They're not tight tight, but they're not loose that they're going to fall out, so that's perfect. things go and I'll do them. Right. Okay, so we're getting here with this. So that piece goes in there. These mud flaps goes in here. Right, back wheels. Base on. Right, I've got to get these mud flaps in those grooves on the base, that's it. Okay, that's on. It's not a great fit. Doesn't seem to be far enough on. on. If 
for some reason doesn't seem to be going right home on that the front Don't know what to do with these steering. I can't push it much more together because the steering's not going to work. I think it's just the pins on the front wheel. <coughs> right, that's not too bad, so put the rivets in. Bit of old super glue. and hope I don't knock a bugger over. Hang on, put the lid on the super glue. Everything falls on the floor. Okay, here it goes. Two. Three. Okay. I've had my hand on that and the window's steaming up on it. Okay, we'll leave it there for a bit to dry. And uh, just for a bit. Okay, well, that's it. Um, job done. It's not been all straightforward. I've had a few problems with it, including having to respray the back part of one of the wings. Um, lucky I just managed to put some cling film around it and blow some paint in, and it's not noticeable, thank God. So I got away with that one. <laughs> Unfortunately, that bit of the windscreen there, even though I super glued that steering wheel in before putting it together, a fair, well, a little while before putting it together, it's still, the fumes of the super glue has crowded the windscreen a little bit, just on the top you can see there, but not a lot. Okay, so, job done. I'm quite pleased with the outcome. It 
looks reasonably good and um, I'm quite happy with it. So special thanks again to Mr Ian Hulley who sent me this model to restore. Um, I've been very grateful for the models he sent me and uh, I'm grateful to him for sending me the models. And uh, yeah, I've enjoyed doing this one. Like I say, it's been a bit of a few trials and tribulations along the way, but it, like I say, it's come out not too, too bad. So thanks very much, Ian, if you're watching. It's very much appreciated, all the stuff you've sent me. Okay, so um, that's it. Thanks very much for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please like and subscribe. And um, hopefully this time next week we'll be back with another video. So uh, we'll see you then. Okay, stay safe and cheerio for now. Bye.